guys, welcome back to my channel. I recently, actually, it was the last last week I uploaded my skincare routine. My skincare routine is quite expensive. I really love luxury skincare. Always been into luxury skincare since before I did this job, since pretty much since my first job. What I would do is save up over a month or two months or three months, however long I would have to, and I would save up and I would buy one product. So I remember having a Chanel moisturizer at the age of 17 because I saved up and I bought it for myself so it's easy to watch youtubers and people like me using stuff that we get gifted for free thinking that we would never buy it ourselves I really want you guys to know that I have always loved luxury skincare and makeup and it's just always been the way that I've been but there are some things that I have found that are a bit more affordable that I love as well so I thought what I could do today is show you guys some of that stuff so my skincare routine was mostly luxury but these are things that I have tried over the years that I find work really really well and I've got some skincare in here I've got some hair care and I've got some body care as well but these are all just such lovely things especially in times like we are in right now they're great for making you feel great Okay, let's start with, let's actually start with probably body care because there's only one product in here, right? This is the Nivea Body Lotion Rich Nourishing 48 Hours Intensive Moisturising Care. This kind of blew up because of the shine it gives your skin. So I just want to show you guys a little bit. I love using this. See, after I've done a proper pamper in the bath, I've done all my, my shaving and stuff like that. I love slathering my whole body in this. It honestly looks like you are covered in head to toe, some kind of glowy highlight. It makes everything shine and it's super, super moisturized. It doesn't feel sticky. Not my favorite smell in the world, but I don't really care, honestly, because it just gives your skin the most gorgeous glow and it's super hydrating. It's a proper, it's so good, so good. <sighs> Honestly, out of all the body moisturizers that I've found in the kind of drugstore slash kind of lower end of the scale price wise, this is my favorite. It's always sitting on my desk. I use, yeah, I use it all the time, fab. Let's move on to hair. So the first thing I've got is Probably my favourite hairspray. It's for a certain look though, I will say that. This is the Got To Be Glued Blasting Freeze Spray for Screaming Hold. Do you remember those adverts of the guys with like mohawks and they were like rocking out and then it was a hairspray? This, this is it. I've got short hair. If you can't tell, this isn't actually my real hair. And I so love this. I actually used a little bit of it today. You can spray it in your hands and smooth out. It's just my favourite hairspray. It's so great. It's so amazing for the slick back look. I'll put a picture up of how I did my hair slicked back and so many of you guys asked me how I did it and it was just with this hairspray. It's so easy. Also for a low slick bun any look that you want your hair to be pretty much slicked to your head if you coat your hair in this and use like a, a brush like this like a little kind of back combing brush it won't move it will not move all night you will need to wash your hair okay do not sleep with this in your hair it will snap off but this is the, honestly the best hairspray Another thing that I've got for hair care, which technically isn't drugstore affordable, but you can buy a small version of it, is the Davines Renaissance Circle Hopeless Hair Extreme Repair Mask. I've got a few favourite masks. I love the Offline IGK one. I love the Coco and Eve is really, really nice. But these little pouches for me are so great for when we're travelling. And they're also nice for a treat. So if you're not a luxury purchaser of beauty products, for a treat, you can buy yourself this. I think it's £8.50. With the length that my hair is right now, I could split this into three uses. So that's not that bad. But if you're wanting to start delving into the luxury hair division, this is a great place to start. Plus, it's really, really great. It's really good for hair. If you're like me and you've kind of bleached your hair over the years and things like that, it's, it's just amazing. So this is kind of like a sneaky one. It's a little bit of luxury, just in a small package, okay? The next thing I'm going to talk about is Face Halo, all right? Cost per use, they are so affordable. Plus, they're amazing for the environment. Plus, they are so great for loads of things. I love using Face Halo. I've got three here because they come in packs of three. This is the Face Halo Pro. And then you can also get them individually 
and this is the normal face halo so it's white. I like the black ones just because I wear so much makeup. To be honest, I don't really want to see if there's loads of makeup on it because I do use mine for a bit, probably about a week before I wash them and I'll just squeeze it out under the tap and give it a wash with some soap. You can actually remove your entire face of makeup with just this and water. I really like to use a cleanser and then I use this to remove it and then I'll use another cleanser and I'll use this to remove it as well. Face masks, this will remove your face mask, no problem. They're basically like tiny face cloths that can remove makeup up by themselves they're so good for traveling and if you have these you will not need to use makeup wipes the next thing i've got technically isn't mine but jack loves them jack's really good at looking after his skin right but he does get the odd spot the odd pimple for one of the little bits that i put in his birthday which actually it sounds quite mean when i when i do it when i say this um it was these spot patches right it was during everything kicking off the pandemic had had happened we were in the middle of the pandemic we are in the middle of the pandemic all the spot patches had sold out on cult beauty but i knew that i wanted to get them done because he actually stole ones that i had before and he ran out so i got these from amazon they're called acne clean acne patches you get four sheets so you get 140 34 clear patches right and they've got all the normal stuff they've got salicylic acid and jack loves them he says they're amazing i've used one in the middle of my forehead about two days ago i started getting a really really big spot you can kind of still see it i used one of these and honestly after like i, I wore it overnight next day wash my face put my makeup on and then see the day after that it was kind of gone and that doesn't happen to me so i actually think i think these might be all right kind of gross but yeah Okay, I'm gonna move on to facial cleansers. So this one was actually in my skincare video that I just uploaded. This is the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser, non-foaming and fragrance-free. A lot of people are sensitive to fragrance and SLS, which causes your face wash and everything that you use to foam up. This is honestly, it's like kind of like washing your face with conditioner. It's super gentle, it's really, really hydrating. I love it because it leaves my skin feeling super moisturized. And it's just really simple and really basic and sometimes that's quite nice so this cleanser for me is great i also used it yesterday by itself to remove makeup usually i'd use another cleanser first and then this afterwards but i used this to remove my makeup and it did a really good job got all my mascara off as well so for a cleanser i think this is really really good and then something that i really love to do before doing my makeup in the morning and i actually did it on my wedding day with a nars hydrating toner i feel like this might be a slight not a dupe because it's a little bit different but it does a similar thing the garnier Skin Active Micellar Rose Water Cleanse and Glow is really nice. I love it as well for removing stubborn eye makeup that I can't quite wash off. So you can squeeze it a wee bit onto your face halo and use this in the morning to kind of give your face a little kind of buff almost. It's really great for getting rid of any kind of flaky skin. It's really good for just kind of starting off your skincare with a kind of surge of moisture. And it's actually, it's really gentle again and it smells really nice. So I think out of all the micellar waters I've tried, this is my favourite. Moving on to serums, I have to give an honourable mention to Charlotte, my Charlotte. If you don't know my Charlotte, my Charlotte is one of my best friends. She also works with me and I was chatting with her. We were doing a bit of work earlier and I was chatting with her about doing this video and she said, oh my God, you have to put the ordinary squalene solution in. I don't know if I've said that right. Charlotte says that she feels like her skin gets quite dry, but when she uses the squalene, I'll put a wee picture of it here, although all the ordinary products look the same. And um, she said it's quite oily and what she'll do is use that last in her skincare routine and she feels like it locks in all the moisture. Sometimes she feels like all her skincare starts to kind of rub off or, or disappear or just evaporate. When she uses the squalene on top of all her skincare, she feels like everything's just locked in. So she really loves that one. Two other ordinary products that I really like are the Hyaluronic Acid 2% and B5 and the Buffet. So the Buffet is a multi-technology peptide serum. In this, there are a bunch of ingredients. It's also got hyaluronic acid, so I wouldn't say that you would need both of these. I have used the hyaluronic acid for the longest. This is probably my fourth bottle of this. I was looking through my drawers to see if anything caught my eye that was like more affordable that I loved. And I saw that I actually got sent a huge version of the hyaluronic acid, which was quite exciting. So I'm really happy to have more of this. Something that I've been reading in comments lately is that you need to be careful about how much hyaluronic acid you use. Apparently it can have the opposite effect. If your skin's more hydrated than your environment, it can suck the moisture out of your skin and it will evaporate. I think that that might have something to do if you maybe don't lock in 
your skincare properly. You guys were so great in my last video with your hints and tips. I now take my skincare down to the tits. Thank you for whoever said that. But yeah, if you have any more information about hyaluronic acid, we would all love to know. The Buffy seems to be like a little bit of a cocktail of ingredients that your skin will just love, but I used it. <laughs> I feel really bad. I've not got great skincare knowledge, right? I'm learning, I'm always learning. But the Buffy for me, was just a really nice serum to use. I always used it just before my moisturiser and it was great. As far as affordable moisturiser, I honestly haven't used one. I really love investing in my skin and with my moisturiser, like my Ulla Henriksen Double Cream, my Augustin Bader, I'm just looking around to the ones that I've got out, my Bobbi Brown Face Base, those are just my favourite moisturisers and yeah, I'm, I'm totally happy to spend the money on moisturiser. One that I do have that I like to use now and again when my skin really needs it is the Waleda Skin Food. This is actually a new tube of it. My other tube kind of exploded. It was like a metal tube and it exploded. But Waleda Skin Food, it is almost like um, nappy, nappy rash cream. It is so thick. It's very emollient. I love this to lock in all my skin's goodies. I love it before a flight. If I do my whole skincare routine and then put this on afterwards, it's great. It's one of those creams that you can kind of use everywhere. Like I've got a dry cuticle, so I'll put a wee bit of my skin food on there. And it really, really helps. It's just one of those creams. It's like um, Bepanthin or, yeah. I actually can't think of any more ones. But see for when I'm in a, an emergency, if I've got dry skin, if I need it fixed, if I need some hydration, I will put do my skincare and then I'll put this on top to lock it in and it works really well for me. I'm sure there's people that don't like it. That's fine. I quite like it. I like it. <laughs> for lip balm, I love this lip balm and you can see that it is pretty used. This is actually the lip balm that I used when me and Jack got married. You know, I got really excited and I packed all my stuff and I bought in myself a new lip balm to take to Italy when we got married and this is it. This is the Lano Lips Lemonade Lip Treatment. Honestly, with lip balm, do I think you need to spend the money? Probably not. If you're looking for a more affordable one, the Lano Lips one is really, really nice. They've got loads of other types and they've got like a new lip scrub that's lemonade as well. So it's just, it's a really lovely brand. I actually kind of want some right now. Mm. Okay, this is no surprise. I love these sheet masks so much. So the Garnier Skincare Sheet Masks are the best. I love the vitamin C shot. You squeeze that liquid through here into the sheet mask. You just put it on your face like normal. Super hydrating and soothing is amazing. It's for dry and sensitive skin, but I actually, again, I loved it when I was traveling and it's just great at, at nighttime. And so is this one here. This is the lavender and hyaluronic acid. So relaxing, lovely before bed. I also have ran out, but I love the nighttime one. That's actually probably my favorite. I'll put a picture up here if you want to see. That's probably my favorite one of these sheet masks. I always take these on flights with me. These are so great for soothing and hydrating and it's just a nice kind of treat to yourself. Perfect for a little gift for someone. Perfect for a pick-me-up. They're just so great. They're fab. Okay, last thing I've got here is the Caudalie Beauty Elixir. You might look at this and say, Jamie, you're a liar. It's not affordable. The reason that I've put it in here and it makes me smile so much, the first ever trip I went on with this job, I treated myself to the little mini version of this and it's only 12 pounds and I just have the fondest memories of this smell. It smells like a spa. You can pretty much use it whenever you like. Oh my God, I love it before bed. It honestly reminds me so much of America. It reminds me of my first time in LA ever and I remember spraying into my face and thinking that I was that bitch. I thought I was like the coolest person ever because I was in LA with work and I went to Sephora for the first time and I bought my little mini Caudalie. I used it in my little plain bag. I thought it was so cool. It makes me feel so good. So if it can do the same thing for you guys, I really think that it's worth it. So 12 pounds, you can get the little mini version, which is perfect for your handbag, perfect for in your car. It's just great and it's such a nice little treat to yourself. So although it's not technically affordable drugstore, these two products, I think, are such a lovely start. If you've not ever dabbled in luxury skincare or beauty before, these two to start with, they'll just make you feel so great. And I'm honestly all about just feeling like my best self. So you guys, I really hope you liked this video. I want to say thank you so much to everyone who in my last video was so nice. You guys know me, all you have to do is ask. If you want to see a video with more affordable stuff, all you have to do is ask and I will totally do it. As always, I'm going to link everything that I showed you guys down below. I hope that you're all doing really, really well and I will see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>
I'm not gonna lie, I have a beer. It is nine o'clock at night. This is the. <laughs> Oh this kind of blew up. I'm gonna. I'm. I look like I'm getting undressed, but I'm not. It's honestly just. There's a little bit literally floating in in the in the universe. Oh my god, this is so exciting! I've got quite a lot of good stuff here. Beer break. Where is it? Hypoallergenic. 